Good evening. It's my pleasure to welcome you to a real first for Bishop Kenny, a pre-recorded senior awards program. In fact, all three of this year's graduation events will be available to you, your friends, and family to view from home. First and foremost, let me be the first to say how proud I am of our seniors. With the support of our dedicated teachers and with the technology already in place at BK, they have reached the finish line by completing their final year of high school virtually. Congratulations. Tomorrow, we will watch another BK First when our seniors gather for a student-only Mass at St. Joseph's Parish. And finally, on Saturday morning, the Bishop Kenny High School Class of 2020 will graduate in cap and gown at the William Johnston Stadium on the Bishop Kenny waterfront with their parents in attendance. I don't think we have ever anticipated a graduation ceremony more. We are very thankful for the technology that allows us to be with you this evening. I speak to all of the administrators and teachers at Bishop Kenny High School when I say that this program is one of the highlights of each school year. Tonight, you'll see a combination of pre-recorded presenters, scrolling lists of names, and yes, some familiar faces too. Please know that our goal is to maintain the traditions of graduation week and to honor and celebrate our seniors for them, their many accomplishments. Parents, please be aware that all awards, plaques, and certificates announced tonight, along with two copies of a commemorative printed Senior Awards program, will be placed at your student's seat on Saturday's graduation ceremony. With all that said, I recommend that you sit down in your favorite chair and enjoy our program from the comfort and safety of your home. And once again, I extend my personal congratulations to the 68th graduating class of Bishop Kenny High School. Good evening, Bishop Kenny, and welcome to the class of 2020. Ms. Daly Jackson has served the students of Bishop Kenny High School as president of student government. She has taken this leadership role very seriously and has enthusiastically served the entire student body this year. Daly, your commitment to your school and to your senior class has been extraordinary. Therefore, on behalf of the administration, faculty, and the student body of Bishop Kenny High School, I want to commend and thank you for all your time and effort that you put forth this year as the student government president of the class of 2020. And now, as we begin and end all of our days at Bishop Kenny, daily will lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, thank you for blessing the class of 2020 with the past four years of high school, where under the guidance of Bishop Kenny's faculty and staff, we have learned and grown together both academically and in our faith lives. Please continue to watch over all of the students and their families as they transition to a new stage of life. Help them to remember to always trust in you and rely on their faith, no matter where they are. Thank you for granting all of these scholars the skills to succeed, and may you watch over them always. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Each year, it's my honor to introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian of the graduating class, and this year is no different. It is with great pleasure that I announce to you the valedictorian of the Bishop Kinney class of 2020 is Kathleen Yarborough. Katie's grade point average is 4.55, the highest in the class, and a tremendous accomplishment. Katie came to Bishop Kinney from Christ the King Catholic School. She's a member of the National Honor Society, Latin Honor Society, Rho Kappa Honor Society, and Science Honor Society. Katie participated in numerous clubs and organizations during high school, including Anchor Club, Catholic Athletes for Christ, and Latin Club. She achieved honor roll every quarter of her high school career, had straight A's in 11 advanced placement courses, and was named an AP Scholar with distinction in the summer of 2019 as a result of her scores on her AP exams. Katie is a gymnast for North Florida Gymnastics, where she's a team captain. She's achieved a level 10 in the sport and has qualified for Florida and regional gymnastic meets multiple times. Katie is also a diver for Bishop Kenny swimming and diving team, qualifying for district, state, and regional championships twice. She placed 13th in the state diving competition. And Katie has earned over 200 hours of community service during her high school career. 
She's an extraordinary minister of the Holy Communion and is very involved in her parish of Christ the King Catholic Church. She is a guardian altar server and helps coordinate the Advent Tree Ministry every year. This past summer, she participated in Urban Plunge, a missionary program that serves communities throughout the Diocese of St. Augustine. Katie has applied and was accepted to the University of Florida, Florida State University, the University of Central Florida, and the University of North Florida. She will attend the University of Florida in the fall and major in public relations with plans to attend law school. Congratulations, Katie. It is my pleasure to announce that Miss Gabriella Hitty is the salutatorian of the Bishop Kinney class of 2020. Gabriella graduates with a grade point average of 4.53, a tremendous accomplishment. Gabriella came to Bishop Kinney from Holy Family Catholic School. She's a National Merit Commended Scholar, National Hispanic Scholar, and was the recipient of the Wilford College Scholar Award. Gabriella is a member of the National Honor Society and National Latin Honor Society. She has participated in the Medical Club, Spanish Club, served as treasurer of the Science Club, and was active in the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. She has taken 11 advanced placement courses and exams and was named AP Scholar with Distinction in the summer of 2019 as a result of her high scores on her AP exams. Gabriella applied and was accepted to the University of Florida, Florida State University, and the University of Central Florida. Gabriella received a Diamond Scholarship from the University of North Florida, her school of choice, and will explore a major in chemistry. Congratulations, Gabriella. Four other seniors finished the year in a tie with Gabriella Hitty for the number two position in the class. Each has earned the distinction of honor graduate. Each of these students also has an impressive record of academic and extracurricular activities. This five-way tie was broken by calculating the final numeric grades in each course taken during the junior and senior year. Carolina Mackey graduates with a grade point average of 4.53, an outstanding accomplishment. We are pleased to recognize Carolina as an honor graduate of the class of 2020. Carolina came to Bishop Kenny from St. Joseph's Catholic School. She is a National Merit Commended student and a National Hispanic Scholar and a member of the National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and National Science Honor Society. She has served as the Varsity Brain Ball Team Captain and Anchor Club Secretary. Carolina won first place in the Army Corps of Engineering Career Day competition, participated in the National Chemistry Exam, and is a graduate of the Joe Burke Seminar Series. She achieved the honor roll every quarter of high school, took 11 AP classes, and was named an AP Scholar with Distinction in the summer of 2019. Carolina served our Bishop Kenny community as an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion and earned over 800 hours of community service while in high school including volunteering at Nemours Children's Hospital, tutoring and volunteering at different summer camps and vacation Bible school. Her service hours do not include the time she spent crocheting 150 baby hats and booties that she donated to the Women's Help Centers. Carolina applied and was accepted to the University of Alabama Honors College, the University of Florida and Florida State University. She will attend the Florida State University where she will major in education and psychology. Congratulations, Carolina. Sergio Saab also graduates with a grade point average of 4.53. Sergio is the second of our four honor graduates of the class of 2020. Sergio came to Bishop Kenny from Holy Family Catholic School. He is a National Merit Commended student, a National Hispanic Scholar, a member of the National Honor Society, Science Honor Society, Math Honor Society, and the Tri-M Honor Society. Sergio led the robotics team as a lead programmer and the eSports team as captain. He achieved honor roll status every quarter of high school, took 10 AP classes, and was named an AP Scholar with Distinction in the summer of 2019. During his time at Bishop Kenny, Sergio participated as a member of the Bishop Kenny varsity soccer and tennis teams. 
Sergio earned 156 hours of community service. Throughout his high school career, he served as an altar server at Holy Family Catholic Church and at soup kitchens around the Jacksonville area. Sergio applied and was accepted to the University of Central Florida, Florida Institute of Technology, the University of Florida, Georgia Institute of Technology, and the University of North Florida. Sergio will attend Georgia Institute of Technology in the fall and major in computer science with a focus on artificial intelligence. Vivian Tran also graduates with a grade point average of 4.53 and is an honor graduate of the class of 2020. Vivian came to Bishop Kenny from Holy Family Catholic School. She was a member of the National Honor Society, National Science Honor Society, and National Art Honor Society. She achieved honor roll status every quarter of high school, took 12 AP classes, and was named an AP Scholar with Distinction in the summer of 2019. Vivian's participation in the art club every year led to several of her art pieces being displayed in school and the diocese and art shows. This year, she was honored with the prestigious Gold Key in Scholastic Art and Writing Awards competition. Vivian actively participated in the Interact Club and St. Vincent de Paul Society. She earned over 390 hours of community service with her participation. She spent her summers crocheting blankets, hats and socks for hospitals, and the homeless of Jacksonville. Vivian applied and was accepted to the University of Central Florida, University of Florida, Florida State University, University of North Florida, and Savannah College of Art and Design. She will attend the University of Florida where she plans to major in biochemistry with plans to attend medical school. Patrick Tucker, the fourth honor graduate of the class of 2020, also graduates with a grade point average of 4.53. Patrick came to Bishop Kenny from Assumption Catholic School. He is a member of the National Honor Society, Latin Honor Society, and National Science Honor Society. Patrick participated in numerous clubs and organizations including Catholic Athletes for Christ, Interact, and Student Council, where he served as president in his senior year. He achieved his first honors every quarter of his high school career. He has taken 11 advanced placement courses and was named the AP Scholar with Distinction in the summer of 2019 as a result of his scores on the AP exams. Patrick was a four-year member both of our golf and basketball programs, participating in the state golf meet four times and serving as the captain of our regional finalist varsity basketball team as a senior. Patrick earned over 465 hours of community service during his high school career. During his summers, he would spend his time volunteering at Camp I Am Special and summer basketball camps. During the year, he participated with the Interact Club, assisting with Dance Marathon and Student Council. Patrick applied and was accepted to the University of Notre Dame, which he will attend in the fall to study business. Congratulations to all our honor graduates in the class of 2020. I'm pleased to announce the next awards category. The students whose names you see listed maintained a high scholastic rating and have been named to the honor roll for all four quarters of the senior year.
The next award is presented to the students who have earned either first honors or second honors all four quarters of each year they attended Bishop Kenny. Congratulations to the following students. The next award is presented to the students who received highest honors, principals or first honors, every quarter, every year at Bishop Kenny. It is my privilege to announce the following academic awards. For four years of excellence in religious studies, the Religious Education Award goes to Jack Trent. The English Medal is awarded to an individual who has done superior work in four years of language arts. This year's award is presented to Rachel Lekwar. The Writing Award is presented to Anaje Austin. This year, the award for theater goes to Grace McCormick. The math medal is given each year to the student with the highest scholastic standing in the field of mathematics. This year's math award winner is Nancy Loca. Chloe Iliano is recognized as this year's recipient of the Business Law Award. The Social Studies Department presents two awards. The History and Government goes, Award goes to Michaela Bowling, and the Social Sciences Award goes to Clea Joka. The World Languages Department honors students for their outstanding achievement in the following subjects. German, Katherine Loberger. Latin, Lauren Leitner. Spanish, Natalia Venus. There are two science department awards. For excellence in the study of physical sciences, the award goes to Sarah Edgar. And in the field of biological sciences, the award is presented to Gabriella Hitti. The award for outstanding contributions in the area of family and consumer sciences goes to Caroline Fry. The music department wishes to recognize Leah Weber for her accomplishments in chorus. And for the drum line, this year's award is presented to Daly Jackson. Isabella Crisponte is this year's recipient of the Art Award. For outstanding achievement in the area of physical education, our recipient is Sergio Saab. 
The recipient of this year's award for NJROTC is Carolina Moreno. Two students are being honored in the area of student publications. Rita Albert for the student newspaper, The Shield. And for the Crusader yearbook, the award goes to Caitlin Putt-Putt. For outstanding work in multimedia design, we present the award to Jack Trent. And for her outstanding achievement in creative photography, the award is presented to Vanessa Wellover. And for her outstanding contributions to Crusader Vision, Emily Wojcovic receives this year's award. Congratulations to all these students for their achievements. In October of 2018, over 1.5 million high school juniors took the PSAT and entered the National Merit Scholarship Competition. 50,000 of these students were identified as high scorers. Seven of those 50,000 students were from Bishop Kenny and continued on in the competition. The following awards represent the results of the National Merit Competition. The following are recognized as commended students in the National Merit Competition. Gabriella Hitty, Carolina Mackey, Madeline Otero, Sergio Saab, Patrick Tucker, Leah Weber, and Angelo Yap. Let's also congratulate Carolina Mackey, Madeline Otero, Sergio Saab, and John Selleck who were seniors named in the National Hispanic Scholars as a result of their outstanding scores on the 2018 PSAT. Congratulations to all these fine students for their success in the National Merit Competition. It is my honor to present the next awards. The following students have been awarded the President's Education Award by virtue of their outstanding academic records. Each of these students has earned a cumulative 3.5 grade point average and scored in the 85th percentile or higher nationally on college entrance examinations. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you the letter that accompanies each of these students' certificates. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past year, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor have exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance, and I am confident they will continue to build a stronger and more prosperous future for our country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of the way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As these talented students pursue their dreams and passions, we send our best wishes for continued success. Keep up the great work. Donald Trump. The following students will receive a certificate signed by President Trump.
Florida Bright Future Scholarship Program provides scholarships to academically qualified students who plan to attend school in Florida. The State Department of Education evaluates senior grades and test scores after the 7th and 8th semester of high school. 141 of the 258 Bishop County candidates have been already declared eligible for this scholarship. The remaining candidates will be reevaluated and notified of their status this summer. In addition to the Bright Futures candidates, the following list also includes students who have received scholarship offers from colleges, universities, government, and community organizations.
By a vote of the faculty, the following students have been selected for special recognition for dedicated service to their school. On behalf of the faculty and administration, we thank you for your service to our Bishop Kenny community. Bishop Kenny requires every student to earn 25 hours of community service each school year. The following students are being recognized for having volunteered over 100 hours in this year alone. Thank you for dedicating so much of your time to serving the community. I am happy to take this opportunity to recognize Daly Jackson for her dedicated service to the Bishop Kenny School Improvement Team. Daly represented the opinions of the student body to this important standing committee of the school for two years. Thank you, Daly. Good evening. It is wonderful to be back with the Bishop Kenny family again. Believe me when I say that your education at Bishop Kenny and love and faith in God will serve you well as you continue your life's journey. I pray for God's bountiful blessings for each of you and your families. My name is Tom Burke. I'm the proud brother of John Emmett Burke Jr. and son of John Emmett Sr. and Ann Veronica Burke. My brother John, or as they called him Little John, because he was the smallest player on the freshman team, like all of my brothers and sisters, attended St. Paul's grade school and Bishop Kinney High School. After graduating from Bishop Kinney, John attended the University of Florida, where he majored in architecture. Go Gators! Unfortunately, in the summer between his freshman and sophomore year, John passed away in a workplace accident at the Federal Building in downtown. While attending John at Bishop Kinney High School, John was in the honor class all four years while lettering in football, baseball, and track. He would have played basketball, but back then, Coach Baldwin did not allow football players to play on the basketball team. John proudly graduated in the class of 65. He was 17 
in the class of 247 students. But John was more than a top scholar and athlete. He was a son, brother, friend, and classmate to so many people. He was a member of the Press Club, Holy Name Society, Knights of the Blessed Sacrament, and Youth Council on Civic Affairs. John lived his life as a devout Catholic and was a loving and giving person. Although I was just seven years old at the time of his death, I remember it like it was yesterday. Even back then, John was blessed by God as a leader and a man's man. With two minutes left to go in the ball game, John wanted the ball. The John Hindenburg Jr. Award was created in 1967 by the Knights of Columbus. It is the oldest award given at Bishop Kenny. Each year, the award is presented to the male or female student athlete that demonstrates exceptional achievement in both academic and athletic endeavors. The first award recipient was John Lanahan, who played football with my brother at Bishop Kenny. Beginning in 1992, John's high school class of 65 took the award over from the Knights of Columbus and continued this excellent tradition for 24 years. Both the Knights of Columbus and the class of 65 did an outstanding job, and my family thanks for them for their time, commitment to excellence, and financial support for creating such a wonderful, long-standing Bishop Kenny tradition. Last year's Outstanding Scholar Athlete was presented to Michael Sassine. Beginning in 2017, the class of 65 transitioned the management of the award to the Burke family. Of course, we are honored by the request and on behalf of my brother, the Burke family, including my beautiful sisters, Patty Degada, Maureen Ward, and Anne Marie Harden, we will faithfully continue this tradition for many years to come. The 2019-2020 John Emmett Burke Jr. Award is not only a top scholar and athlete, but also a strong leader in the classroom and on the field, and most importantly, he places God first. He is a football player and a member of the, weight, the weightlifting team and was selected to the All-City Football Team for 2019. However, like my brother, this year's recipient is more than just a top scholar and athlete. He also finds the time to participate in extracurricular activities. He volunteers with Camp I Am Special and at the Assumption Catholic School and is a member of the Catholic Athletes for Christ. He is the kind of player who never sits on the sideline. If he wasn't playing the game, he was a strong champion for those playing on the field. Upon graduation, he will attend the University of New Hampshire. On behalf of the Burke family, it is my honor and privilege to present the 2019-2020 John Emmett Burke Jr. Award to Neil Palatano. Thank you, Neil. Best in God love. Good day and thank you for uh, having us here to uh, honor the graduate for the Katie Scholarship. I'd like to congratulate the parents uh, for staying with your student and helping them to make it through their time with Bishop Kenny. I'd like to thank the administration and uh, all the good things that they do for the school also. Uh, the Katie Scholarship is unique in that the, none of the students can apply for the scholarship. It is given uh, with the recommendation by the staff and uh, the qualifications are that they need to be one who is very much in relationship with God, uh, with their family, uh, with their uh, teachers and appreciation of them and with the uh, fellow students. And the uh, individual has strong character and integrity. And at this year, uh, we'd like to uh, welcome and uh, acknowledge that Madison Alleygood is the Katie Scholar. This first scholarship is provided by Bishop Kenny High School in honor of Sister Vincent, who taught Latin at our school for many years and was loved and respected by the faculty and students. It is awarded to a graduating senior who will be attending a Catholic university or college. This year's recipient is Patrick Tucker. 
Patrick is held in high regard by both faculty and students and is being honored for his academic and extracurricular accomplishments. He will be attending the University of Notre Dame in the fall. Congratulations, Patrick. Hi, we're the Roberts family. We're very excited to be with you here today. We wish we could be uh, with you face to face in the same room, but we know that these times will not allow that. Um, we're the family of Clay Roberts, who was part of the class of 2007. He passed away that year. And so we decided to create a memorial scholarship uh, in his honor. Uh, his email address was in river or ocean because that's where he said he'd rather be at all times. So we created a foundation called In River Ocean, and so they're the, the real sponsors of the scholarship. Clay was uh, a fellow who was loved by all his friends and family, and he loved his friends and family, and to the point that he really thought of them before he thought of himself. Clay had respect for his teachers, uh, adults and for all his friends and he had a lot of self-respect and so I tend to call this award um, award of the human spirit because Clay wasn't necessarily the smartest guy in the room but he did seem to have the pulse of his friends and he was able to make their day happier if, if it needed to be. Uh, you don't apply for this scholarship Clay was a, a good athlete, so uh, you have to be a varsity athlete to qualify. And then your coaches are given a personality profile of Clay in the summertime, and then they try to match somebody with the same personality traits as Clay during the year. And then we take a look at those candidates. We don't know who you are until we actually pick the personality profile we think that best matches Clay. And so that's how the scholarship comes about. The scholarship is funded each year by a fishing tournament we have every year. So anybody that's interested, uh, go to fishwithclay.com and it'll tell you about our tournament we have each year. We want to congratulate the class of 2020, the parents and the faculty for going through extremely hard times, but yet perseverance, endurance, and stamina got you this far and it'll take you all the way. So, I'm Casey, I'm class of 2010. Um, so with the this year's winner, um, he's a person that has a lot of the same personality characteristics as Clay. He's very uh, passionate and personable with the, like everybody, with all of his peers and the faculty here. He, uh, um, treats everyone with respect and um, he's just easy to get along with uh, like regardless and um, he is uh, definitely a competitor on the field which Clay was. Um, the student does football and baseball. Um, I was on the sideline this past season for football so I definitely wish I could hand this to you in person. Um, this year's uh, winner is Kyle Lindry. Congratulations, Kyle. Students, parents, families, friends, teachers, and administrators. I'm Lark Will, graduate of the Bishop Kenny class of 1977. First, I want to acknowledge you for your enthusiasm and involvement in supporting and encouraging this year's seniors to realize their goals. And graduates of Bishop Kenny High School, congratulations, you made it. Every year, as we evolve as a community and a society, conditions present themselves. And boy, did we get a big one this year. Fate has dealt us all a hand that none of us anticipated. But remember, graduates, you are still the class of 2020, not the class of COVID-19. And it is precisely at these times we are provoked to ask questions and look for more effective solutions. In a way, every aspect of life is a mathematic equation. Every challenge is like a science experiment, 
and every aha moment has the force and power of a chemical reaction. The Will family was fortunate enough to have as a patriarch a man who really cared about people and the inequities in the world. My father, John Will, dedicated himself to solving the puzzles that challenged equality and diversity. And when he was not much older than you graduates, he too had to face an unforeseen circumstance. He was a young man in the 1940s studying math and engineering at Drexel University in Pennsylvania when the word came that the Japanese had just bombed Pearl Harbor. Dad knew in that moment his life was going to change forever. And soon, when he should have been studying for exams, he was in the middle of the Pacific defending American territories from attacks. And in what must have been moments of pure terror, he learned the important lessons of resilience, persistence, and most importantly, caring, uh, caring, the, caring about the person that was to your left and to your right, no matter their background, religion, education, or heritage. Throughout his life, my dad was devoted to three things, his family, his love of science, and his belief in the power of women and the importance that they wield. He was clearly the champion for me and my sister, that is, he watched out for and guided us and gave us the innate smarts to know that we had the ability to accomplish whatever we set our minds to. He spent a fair amount of energy and ingenuity fighting for a level playing field, one in which young women had and have the freedom and the respect to participate as equally as their male counterparts. Please understand that my father was equally respectful of boys, but for him it was about representation, getting a fair shake, and knowing that a gathering of diverse voices is what makes the sweetest music. So to all the fathers, grandfathers, big brothers, uncles, and other male influencers here today, know that your support of young women goes a long way and has a multi-pronged effect. Validation for these bright young women, greater advancements in the field of STEM, and an authentic sense that you too are part of a bigger and more positive shift in the workforce. This year's recipient of the sixth annual John J. Will Science and Technology Scholarship is someone who has distinguished herself with her intelligence, enthusiasm, and thirst for knowledge. And she shares a key trait with my father, a love for that final frontier, space. While Dad was presented with the possibility of joining NASA in the early 1960s, he opted for another career but he always had his eyes in the skies, especially during the Apollo and Space Shuttle missions. And I'm so thrilled that the sixth recipient of this award is literally reaching for the stars. We are eager to follow this young woman's academic adventures and are confident that with the future in her hands, more smart, innovative young women will join the party. It is my pleasure to present the 2020 John J. Will Science and Technology Memorial Scholarship to Mary Alice Young. I hope you enjoyed our awards program. I would like to end it by sharing with you the news that as of today, our senior class has earned over $15 million in college scholarships. This is a class that has much to be proud of. This concludes the award ceremony for the Bishop Kenny High School class of 2020. Have a pleasant evening.